George Martin played an instrumental role in catapulting the Beatles to iconic status. Beyond mere song arrangements, his profound melodic insight elevated the band from a raw garage group to one of the era's most sophisticated musical acts, initially recognizing their potential yet doubting the success of their early original attempts. Martin's involvement became integral to the band's evolution, resembling that of a band member. Despite facing rejections from top-tier industry professionals before securing a recording contract, the Beatles manager Brian Epstein struggled to find a label willing to take a chance on them due to skepticism about guitar group's futures. When Epstein approached Martin, the producer, while acknowledging the band's potential, initially hesitated due to doubts about their fit within Parlophone Records' comedy label. Even after drummer Pete Best was replaced with Ringo Starr, Martin remained uncertain about the band's original material. While their debut single, Love Me Do, received Martin's approval, Please Please Me required his intervention. Initially resembling Roy Orbison's ballads, Martin found the song sluggish, prompting his suggestion to record How Do You Do It by Mitch Murray instead. By advising a tempo change and the addition of a harmonica, Martin transformed Please Please Me into their first major hit. Despite its lackluster initial version, the energetic recorded rendition encapsulated the essence of Beatlemania, paving the way for future classics. George Martin's guidance profoundly shaped the Beatles' evolution from a standard rock and roll band into musical visionaries within a few transformative years, revealing subtle flaws in their songwriting and guiding them toward artistic genius.